Alright, and here's my current setup now. Uh, as you can see, I'm still using the Antlion Mod Mic, which is a really good mic. If you have a chance to pick one up and you do a lot of recordings, definitely pick it up. It is a great mic. You will love it. And then you got my Kiwi Design rubber grips with battery doors on them and the battery that's in them is a usb type c battery so i can plug in a magnet in there and then charge it without having to remove the batteries and then on the back we have the bobo vr b100 docking station It is a beautiful docking station that I am so glad that they put out because it is so much better than the last one that was out for the Quest 2 years ago. And then I just have some random earbuds until Bobo VR actually releases their audio solution. And then their three battery docking station. This thing is amazing because it can charge all three at once with no problems. Uh, I have, as of yet, had to drain more than half of one battery, but the B100 battery is freaking amazing. Generally, Saturday mornings, I'll do about an hour long session inside the headset to be able to get all of my recordings that I need for the week, and it lasts forever. I don't even get a quarter of the way through this during that hour session, which means it will last so long, which means perpetually I could be in VR forever as long as I keep switching out these batteries. Now, eventually, one day on a Sunday, I am going to be testing out that theory to see how long I can stay in it from morning until I have to go to bed for work the next day. 
Now back here, you'll see that that is a power cable and it is said to be 100 watts and Jay Brett did a video on this with the dock and it gets up to 85 watt, which is a lot better than anything that's out there right now because the one that I currently have plugged in only does about 15 watts, even though this cable says it's 100 watt, the brick itself up here is not 100 watt. So of course it's not gonna be able to push out that much. But anyways, this is how I have my setup. And yeah, I'm still using this docking station here as a place to put the headset, but because I have those, I don't have this plugged in anymore and it's just a place to rest. I will eventually be getting the Kiwi Design stand to put here so that I can just get rid of this because it's like any other meta product, it's overpriced, undervalued nonsense. But anyways, yeah, that's what my setup is right now. And I absolutely love the Bobo VR B10 batteries. So that's my VR setup for this time. And yes, I do Steam Link to my computer so I can do wireless PC VR. Now, on top of all of that information, the B100 is a 10,000 milliamp battery, which lasts twice as long as the previous battery does, which means you can get about three hours out of it on the Quest 3 and four to five on the Quest 2, which by far is amazing if you do have a Quest 2. As for the Quest 3, when you're using the battery, it actually recharges the Quest 3's battery, which is outstanding. And having 10,000 milliamps with it lasting three hours means that mm, technically you'll get about four out of it, maybe four and a half, depending on how well charged the B10 battery is beforehand. But yeah, so you'll get quite a bit of hours out of it with just one battery. Now, the Bobo VR D3 charging dock does charge about 80% of the battery within an hour, as long as you have the appropriate wattage. So right now with it, you get probably about maybe two hours to fully charge if you have like a 15 to a 50 watt charging cable, which is currently what I'm using at the moment, like you just saw. But if you can get about 85 watts out of it, then you'll be able to get far fewer time on the charging dock to be able to charge it quicker, which means if you have three on there, you could perpetually be in VR, as I said earlier. Now, the cool thing is the charging dock that you can buy with the B100 battery, it is backwards compatible with all of their headsets. So if you have a Halo strap or if you have the Elite style strap for the Quest 2, you can take that dock and put it on all of those so that your charging time or that your time inside the headset will increase substantially on your Quest 2, which I mentioned earlier, and it is still freaking amazing. I will still say that as many times as I need to because it is just, just amazing. But yeah, so that is the B100 battery from Bobo VR with the D3 charging dock and the B100 headset dock. So without a doubt, I do highly recommend the Bobo VR B100 battery setup with the headset dock, with the fast charging station, and at least two of the Bobo VR batteries. It means with how fast the fast charging station can get them charged up and ready to go, you could perpetually be in VR, which is without a doubt, freaking amazing. Now I'm going to give this a five out of five because since I've had this product, I haven't had any issues with being able to stay in for long amounts of times, but I haven't actually tested how long it will take to fully charge one while using another. Now I have three batteries altogether as you saw before, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to test one at a time on a Sunday and see how long I can stay inside the headset for an entire 16 hours or for however long it can last until I need to go to bed. And this is going to be from waking up in the morning till I have to go to bed at night before work the next day, which 
I don't know exactly when I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm shooting for maybe around August sometime, but I will be putting that video out and Alik Neko will be joining me as kind of a moderator and somebody who jumps into VR chat with me to show me different worlds when I'm playing VR chat or just going to be laughing at me when I'm playing other games and failing at them. But anyways, that'll be it for this episode. So once again, thank you for joining me on Weaver's Wonderful World. And remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Bacon is the best breakfast food. So eat up, stay healthy, and I'll catch you VR divers in the next video. Ooh, raw.